There is so much inspiration in fountain pen ink, so many different ways to name them, to categorize them, and to enjoy them. Today, we're looking at the amazing world of tea. And these are my top five favorite fountain pen inks named after tea. Now, according to Chinese legend, Tea goes back to the year 2700 BC, when the Emperor Shenang was drinking a bowl of purified hot water, and some leaves blew into the bowl and created the first cup of tea. This actually corresponds to the archaeological evidence for the development of tea in that area, which is fascinating. A 9th century Arabian traveler wrote extensively about tea, and Marco Polo wrote about it extensively in his travels as well. But it was really Portuguese traders that brought tea out of Asia and into Europe. And certainly by 1650, tea started to spread as British influence spread around the world leading to an incredibly diverse tea culture that's celebrated in many corners of the world, many of which we're going to take a look at right now. One of the amazing things about tea is that it has been used as a dye for thousands of years. Even the origins of khaki go back to tea. Madras, other fabrics and yarns, all influenced by tea-based dyes. It's pretty amazing. So when you think of all the different varieties, all the different leaves, the colors, the taste, the flavors, there's just so much inspiration here and so much to talk about. You won't believe some of the incredible ink colors that have been created from the inspiration of tea. The first ink we're going to look at today is the Nagasawa style number 34 Sorakuen green tea. So tea comes from the Camellia sinensis plant and the color and variety of the leaf determines its flavor and signature in its drying time. Now green tea has a very short drying time. And this retains a lot of that earthy green color and flavor. Green tea has a very clean, sweet taste that comes out of this base. It should not be bitter if it's prepared correctly. Tea is a ritual. Take time in its preparation. Indulge in the flavors and the smells as you prepare it. It's part of the joy, similar to our rituals of filling up our pens. Part of the joy of writing with a fountain pen is preparing it, filling it, cleaning it, getting ready to write, similar to tea. So this ink was developed for the Nagasawa Stationery Center in Kobe, Japan, under the excellent guidance of the folks at Sailor. So you know it's a stupendous ink. Plus it's kind of neat that it's associated with this store. So the color of this ink is definitely on the green scale, away from some of the grays and browns that you would expect in tea. The highlights of the ink is very spring-like, like the fresh shoots that come out in April. But the deeper parts are more like a Sicilian olive. Yet this makes it incredibly usable if you like green inks. Nice toning and shading to give it a lot of presence on the page and just be absolutely beautiful. It's a very usable, very intriguing color that makes a fantastic addition to your array of inks. Now, green tea is 
just lovely for me when I'm relaxing and I especially enjoy it when I sit down with my family to have a lovely sushi dinner. It's just one of the highlights of having a beautiful, interesting, aromatic cup of fresh green tea. The next ink we're going to look at today is the Lenin Toolbar Taiwan Tea Set Dong Ding Oolong Tea. So Oolong Tea comes from the Yanglong village right next to the Dong Ding Mountains in Taiwan. This is the original home of Oolong Tea. Now, what makes this place so special is that in the mornings, the tea gets early morning sunshine. And then in the afternoon, it often fills with this incredible mist. So it fills the leaves with this earthy sage taste that travels on and into the tea. Just this incredible earthy flavor. I was introduced at Oolong Tea as a teenager at my favorite restaurant in Philadelphia's Chinatown, the Hosai Guy. And then later on, it was always the place I went to after my adventures in the city because it was open all night. This is a dye-based ink of greenish gray with deep, mysterious depth and dark, earthly undertones like the moist forest soil. As you write, the color shades dark as the leaves at the bottom of the cup, while the highlights are a swirl of lightness as you spoon some sugar in. It is dark enough and interesting enough to be a usable ink. It's not nearly green enough to be called green and certainly not gray enough for a certain gray. It's just a perfect suspension of colors that makes it just incredibly usable, gives you nice contrast on the page, and it's a fantastic addition to your ink collection. The next ink we're looking at today comes from the Venerable J. Urban. This is Lee Dete. Now, Lee Dete is not named after a specific type of tea. But I like to think of it as that big, beautiful, warm, brown cup of tea that your grandmother gave you when you were sick. It's that cozy cup of tea that you sip on a rainy day when you're in your window seat looking out the window or reading a good book. This is a comforting, beautiful brown. And as you know, it's not easy making browns interesting, but Lee Dete has some incredible highlights and incredible darker brown tones that range from an almost khaki down to a deeper brown. So it is an incredible ink to use that has a very vintage feel to it, almost like aged iron gall ink, but very usable, very suited for journaling, for incredible correspondencies. If you want to have those associations of tea and comfort and history, it's just an absolutely brilliant, usable shade of brown. And one of the best things, Jair Bon is certainly one of my good guy inks. It's a natural dye, non-toxic ink with a neutral pH. And you have to love these classic bottles that have the built-in pen stand on them. They're just so charming, so evocative of French culture and sophistication. And this is one of my favorite inks and a fantastic choice within the realm of tea inspired inks. The next tea that we're going to look at is Sailor's Tea Time Morocco Mint Tea. Ah, mint tea. In Morocco, tea is a ceremony. 
T is a symbol of friendship. It's how you welcome guests and it's part of every meal. Mint tea is amazingly aromatic. It's full of this breathy freshness, this incredible sweetness, and it just envelops you in an embrace of fragrance, taste, and sight. Just absolutely beautiful. I was introduced to Moroccan mint tea back in Philadelphia at a Moroccan restaurant that gave the feeling as if you were in some kind of a tent and just having these incredible communal meals. It was just an incredible banquet of fragrance, taste, and friendship. There is a Moroccan saying that the first cup of mint tea is soft as life. The second is as strong as love. And the third is as bitter as death. Well, let's hope this ink isn't as rough as all that. It is an amazing greenish ochre color with some incredible highlights and some really nice darkness to it. And I think that this is one of the more usable inks. It's green, like tea leaves steeped in water, but has this beautiful golden cast that just makes it really distinctive and interesting on the page. It is a fantastic ink for contrast while writing. It's light enough and interesting enough, but not so light that it gets lost on the page, which is always a problem with lighter inks to me. And that's why I like inks that are grounded by shading and have some interesting depth and contrast within their color scale. And this ink does not disappoint. It's absolutely brilliant and a very usable ink. And one of the fun things about this ink Although it is a limited edition, there are corresponding pens as well. So if you're really ambitious, you can track down one of the fountain pens that go with this series of inks. Our next ink is Dominant Industries Earl Grey Tea. Ah, uh, Earl Grey. Earl Grey is just the default tea isn't it? Sometimes it just doesn't get the credit it deserves for its mild and interesting flavor that's brought out with a bit of lemon and it is strong enough to hold up in milk and sugar. So it's just an absolutely beautiful tea. And when I think of it, I think of all my trips to England, all those tea times in London, the incredible times I've spent in Cornwall on the coast in a really cozy place with my wife. Absolutely brilliant memories. So how is this classic English tea expressed in an ink? Well, with a really wide spectrum of color that reminds me a little bit of Diamine's Autumn Oak. This goes from highlights of beautiful yellowy orange down through mid orange to deeper red orange. It's that uncorrupted color of tea before you add any milk or sugar. It's that just beautiful, translucent, beautiful color. And in practice, this is a wonderful ink to write with. It might be a little bit on the light side, but it's definitely saved by its shading. And it makes it perfect for correspondence for journaling, and for little notes that you leave for family around the house. It's a brilliant ink, brilliantly expressed, and it brings back all sorts of memories of cozy times in the UK with a really lovely, stronger cup of comforting tea with incredible flavor. So out of all these teas we've discussed today, which one is my favorite? It's always difficult. I always wrestle with this, but I do like to give you an answer. It's a lot of fun in these videos and it's nice to be pinned down to a definite statement. So 
I really love the Earl Grey tea. I love the variety in its color. And I also love the Moroccan mint tea. I love greenish inks that are usable. But I, I, I don't use either of those colors as much as I would like. So I think I have to go with the one that I use. And that is the Lee de Te by J. Urban. I love a really good usable solid brown ink and that's what this is and it just gives my writing this distinction and this historical look and I quite love that so I think I have to go with Lee Dete for that one and I should also mention I was really disappointed when I was researching this video that I couldn't find a chai tea ink someone needs to get on that maybe a producer from India wouldn't that be brilliant I'd love to see it and if you know of a chai tea flavored colored ink please let me know and thank you so much for watching this video and if you've reached this spot please subscribe. I'd love to have you here at the channel. And if you'd like to support us even more, become a member. We do a lot of fun stuff behind the scenes and your membership really helps to keep me producing these kind of videos. So I make new videos every week and I have a live show Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So I can promise we will see each other again very, very soon, further, the road. So take care.